What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint and today I want to show you guys the location of the bipod for the sniper rifle. This is something I've been looking for for a while and I just now got the intel and where it's at. And I will show you, we're going to go grab it because it actually doesn't look like it's too hard. So here we are in the province, the Seal Islands. You can see uh, we're in the far northeast of the Seal Islands. Let's zoom out here. You can see we're right here. I'll zoom in on the exact place. So I want to make sure you guys see where we're at. That's the whole point of the video, am I right? Seal Islands. Now, this could be a higher level area. I'm not sure. This could be like a level 100 plus base. I, I can't guarantee. So check this on a lower level character. If, it if it's too high, then it is. I say that because some uh, weapon attachments and weapons, weapon blueprints are found in a higher level area. So that could be the case here, but um, that's right. So here's the complex we're at in the northeast of the Seal Islands. Now, it's actually closer to the seaside, but if you look at it, I think this might be the easier way to approach, especially since I'm a sniper, not a, a sharpshooter. Now, I'm just playing on regular difficulty. You can tell by my... Uh, little clouds there just doing this the easy way on regular now it looks like it might actually be easier to approach from this way here even though it's closer to the coast I've already reconned the base I spawned at a bivouac and I'll show you where I spawned I spawned at a nearby bivouac of course I don't have them all unlocked out oh, here I spawned at the anchor island of bivouac and just did a little off-roading to get up here all right, so this is where the bipod is found, but I want to go get it and then test it out and see how it works. Now, we have two snipers to take care of. How far out? Oh, we're only 216 meters. Uh, should be easy. Oh, until they start moving. All right, am I suppressed? Yeah, okay, <laughs> that sounded loud. There's two snipers. Oh, and he's standing still for us at 229. He's moving, moving, moving. Got him. All right, so I think that's the only two snipers down. I see a heavy down there, but hopefully we won't have to deal with much of this stuff at all. Let's see if we can be sneaky and get down there and hopefully avoid most of the base. Of course, after the video, I'm gonna clear out the rest of the base and, and get all the goodies for myself. Now, there's a third sniper down there. I'll probably skip some of this for you guys. If this gets too long, I'll probably skip some of this because I don't need to bore you with all the... We got a collar down there. Don't have eyes on him. I could probably get him with an armor buster, but I'm not going to try. We are using the incredible uh, Scorpio Scout Rifle. I'm not sure if it's an SNR or a DMR. It kind of has attributes of both. The game says it's a DMR, but whatever. That's what I'm using. Um, you know what? I think what we're going to do is... We're going to... Wait. That guy just walked in front of me. Someone's probably going to see his body. That's okay. We're going to switch to our uh, SMG and try to scale this cliff without... Uh, we'll, be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. We're going to make a beeline. Oh, do I got eyes in that sniper? Okay. We're going to make a beeline down for the, uh, the thing. I'm hoping I can get this without any messy conflicts for you guys. There's really not many guys on this side of the base. This is the way to go in, I think. Do keep in mind that there are definitely artillery and turret drones here. Okay, we're headed. We need to get through this fence. I have an app for that. Um, we should be able to breach this fence with a breaching torch. Um, it's not letting me. All right, well let's keep our eyes. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. There's guys behind us that could spot us. Why can't we breach the fence? Probably because there's a drop after it. Um, can we climb it? No. All right, so entering through this way may be not the best idea. Uh, we're going to have to take out a few guys, I think. All right, no one... I don't think anyone's going to see us. I, I've never seen the breach fence thing read it out like that, and I guess it's because... Yeah, we're going to end up in a firefight. There's only one way through this fence. I'm guessing it's because there's a drop-off on the other side. Yeah, we're totally going to get in a fight here. Now, I do have a skill. I have a perk equipped. It gives me plus 80 stealth, so that's going to help out quite a bit. Okay, here we should be able to jump down. No, it's too far of a drop. I could handle it. All right. 
Let's keep our uh, head in a swivel. Okay, we're going to have to deal with this guy. We're using the Scorpion Evo 3 CQC. And the Scorpion Evo 3 CQC is a beast. Yeah, you can drop a heavy in one burst. Well, I'm on regular mode, but yeah. All right, let's be very quiet, guys. Very quiet. Oh, we're almost there. I don't think we're going to have to take out any more guys. Let's see if we go this way. E, that's a drop. Now we got to take the stairs down. There's a lot of really interesting bases in Breakpoint, and this is one of them. If I want to get this attachment, and I want to show you guys what the attachment does, and we'll see if we can notice an effect on what it does. We got a sniper over there. We did. All right, advantage to running an SMG is you're gonna have. It's gonna be even quieter. You know, it's gonna be much quieter than an assault rifle because, uh, well, they are. A lot of things carry over from Wildlands, and that is one of them. Wow, how did we get here by only killing like four guys? Well, we did. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up, and then we're gonna check it out. There we go. There's the bipod. Northeastern part of the Seal Islands at this little base right here. I'll show one more time. We're right here. All right, let's attach this to our weapon. I'm eager to see how it does. I've wanted this forever, but I never did get the intel and where we're at. And I know you could probably buy it from the store, but that's simply not my style. I haven't bought anything yet, and I don't plan to unless you guys like seriously want me to, re to you know to review some DLC gear. But I would never buy stuff like this. Oops. All right. So the bipod, what it does subtracts 10% horizontal recoil, uh, adds 15% range, minus 15% sway, plus 15 time percent to aim. So really the only downside is it's gonna take a little more time to scope in your sight according to this. Other than that, it adds more range and reduces your horizontal recoil and your sway. And horizontal recoil isn't usually really a thing with snipers, but this is a semi-auto, so it might just... We'll see how the weapon looks with it. Oh, it makes it look badass. I think the, uh, I can't, uh, for, uh, forgive me. Yeah, it is called a Scorp Scorpio Scout. Uh, the reason I mentioned, just real quick thing here. It says DMR up there, but it's a full sniper rifle. It's a 338, and it takes SNR apart. So, and it does low SMR, SNR damage. It's kind of in between, but I guess it's classified as a DMR. Enough about the weapon. So let's see. I don't know. My aim doesn't really feel slower. Well, let's see how it does with... Um... So that's where it comes from, guys. I'm going to test this on my own and have a separate video for that. That's where you get the bipod for the sniper rifles. And this will work on any sniper rifle that'll take a bipod. And that's the other thing is most DMRs, I don't think do... Let's find out. Why do I have my inventory? We have us a... Surely we got something here. We've got us a... Oh, here's a Mark 14. Let's see if it'll take the bipod. It's, it's a DMR. Yeah, it'll take... Okay, so it'll take a bipod. You can see I haven't upgraded my Mark 14 yet. I haven't really used it. So it'll take it. Let's check the other... Oops, I didn't mean to back up that far. Surely we got another sniper rifle in our repertoire here. What's the regular Scorpio count? See, the regular Scorpio counts as a sniper rifle. The Scorpio Scout is somewhere, it counts as a DMR, but somewhere in between. It's very confusing. All right, here we have a full-on SNR, the HTI. That's undeniable. And um, that's all it'll take. So this is incredibly useful if, if you're any kind of sniper. And I run a sniper rifle on uh, almost all of my class builds. The sharpshooter, I run one. I run a sniper. I run a DMR on Panther. Okay, so I, on Panther and Assault, I run a DMR and Sharpshooter. I run a sniper rifle. This is the one exception, but this thing acts like a sniper rifle. <laughs> all right, sorry for all the uh, stuff there, guys. That's where you find the bipod. It's actually that easy. I had to kill like four guys, and I got in here. You might even be... This might be a higher level base. Uh, it's called Fuel Storage. It's the name of the base, Sentinel Corp. Doesn't tell me what level it is. But once you exceed the level of a place, it won't tell you what level it is. So hard for me to say. But guys, that's where you find it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the rest of this base and collect all the booty for myself.
Guys, I'm Dark Dally. I'll catch you guys next time.